Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys 5 update details about the Sanrio update that you guys need to know about. This update was just announced by Nintendo and it introduces a whole bunch of new collaboration furniture and also 6 new villages which you can get to live on your island. So if you're excited for this video be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing content. Number 1. So I saw quite a lot of people online not actually knowing who these new villagers were yet. Well, these villagers were actually introduced in Animal Crossing New Leaf as a collaboration back then, and they also came to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, so we've kind of just been waiting for them to be added to here in New Horizons. So I'm going to give you guys a quick introduction of these villagers and their different personality types, so you can know who we're dealing with here and who you might actually want to have live on your island. First of all, we have Rilla, who is a gorilla, nice little rhyme there, and Rilla is a peppy type villager. Next, we have Marty, who is a cub type villager, and is a lazy little cub. Next, we have Etwala, who is a normal sheep. Then, we have Chai, who is a peppy elephant. Next, we have Chelsea, who is a normal deer. And finally, we have Marty, who is a smug rabbit. So unless New Horizons decides to change their personalities, which is extremely unlikely, especially given the, given the dialogue that we've seen them speak, it seems like these will be their personalities as that's what they were for all of the previous Animal Crossing games. There's a kind of a nice mix of personalities here, so if you want these guys living on your island, you could definitely stand to have them there. You know, maybe you want to replace some of the villagers with these new ones. I'm definitely going to be doing that. I think personally, I'm going to have Chai on my island and maybe Toby as well. And I'd love for you guys to let me know down in the comment section below which of these Sanrio villagers you want to see living on your island. Be sure to let me know. Number two. There are also six brand new furniture items never seen before in any Animal Crossing game introduced here in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And these are of course rugs for the different characters. Now in Animal Crossing New Leaf where these characters were introduced, rugs were not a thing. So they have been added here to New Horizons of course to incorporate that feature and give a proper full furniture theme. Now, of course, all of this furniture that is being added for the Sanrio collaboration is brand new to New Horizons. You can't get any of this stuff until the update comes out, but the rugs are especially cool because they're completely new. Most of the other furniture we have seen in Pocket Camp and also New Leaf especially. So, you know, they're very cool to see, but it's even cooler to see furniture which is entirely new and has just been designed by Nintendo. So yeah, I really like all of these different rugs and I'm definitely looking forward to getting a hold of the full Sanrio sets if I can. It's currently unknown how we'll get a hold of them, but I'm going to talk more about that later on in this video. Either way, like I mentioned with the villagers, I'd love for you guys to let me know down in the comment section which of these rugs is your favourite. Personally, I'm a bit skeptical about Marty's one, the bear one. It's uh, a little bit strange. It's just a little bit off-putting. Personally, I think the Hello Kitty one is probably the best, but I also really do like Toby's one as well. Toby has a really cool little frog rug, which is great. And you'll notice all of these villagers don't really match the actual characters that they are sporting because they're not supposed to be the characters, they're just supposed to kind of be like fans. That's why Rilla is a gorilla, not a cat, which I think is a kind of a missed opportunity, but you know, that's how they've done it and you can see the differences. Number three. There is actually one item, or should I say piece of clothing, that wasn't shown off anywhere in the trailer for the Sanrio update. Now, I don't think this means it has been removed, I just think it's more likely they forgot to show it off, which is kind of interesting because they showed off pretty much everything. Nintendo is usually pretty meticulous about showing off everything that's going to be of an update, and they did show off basically every Sanrio furniture item that you can get. And of course there's so many and they're all really cool, but one that they missed was actually the cinnamon roll jacket. As far as I could tell this was not anywhere within the trailer, perhaps I might have missed a piece of promotional material online on their websites or something, but I looked through that too and I couldn't see it. So I wanted to let you guys know about this item. If you don't like the dresses, there is the cinnamon roll jacket, which I think is really cool and I actually wore this a lot in Animal Crossing New Leaf. It was one of the main outfits that I wore, so I'm definitely looking forward to getting this again, 
provided they haven't taken it out. I don't know why they would do that though. I don't think that's very likely. So I just imagine this will be shown off closer to when the update comes out. Number four. There is also another new item, which wasn't really mentioned very much within the update, but I guess they didn't specifically point out anything aside from just showing us off all of the new villages and the furniture. There is a new type of wand, which is the Kiki and Lala wand, which actually was an item in Animal Crossing New Leaf. It just didn't work the same. The wand functionality where you can use it to change your outfits wasn't a thing in Animal Crossing New Leaf, so here it actually will be. Now I know this wand looks incredibly similar to the star wand that we already have in New Horizons. I think that might have been a bit of an oversight on their part. Perhaps when they were designing that star wand they didn't think to themselves they were going to be bringing back the Sanrio wand. But I guess here we are and those ones look very si similar except that the one that we have already in the game has sort of a different kind of pole design whereas this one is more like a sort of wooden-y kind of stick. So. If you do want to get this new wand item, you will be able to do that. I assume you'll be able to get that by scanning in the Kiki and Lala character and that amiibo card. So yeah, it's just cool to see another new wand in the game. It's nothing too crazy, but hey, it's there. Number five. So currently, as of making this video, we don't really know how you're actually going to be able to get the furniture items for these characters. We do know that if you scan these characters in, like you usually would with amiibo characters, they will come and visit your campsite. So if you want to get these characters, most likely you will have to scan in their amiibo. In Animal Crossing Welcome Amiibo, that update, you could actually not trade these villagers online. They would not accept invitations to other towns. That might be the case here in New Horizons, forcing you to buy the amiibo cards if you want these characters. I know that's a bit difficult for some people, but I am going to go out there and try and make some videos explaining how and when you can get these cards. Perhaps I'll make an update video when these cards are actually in stock. It's a bit of a shame if it does work like that. I think it'd be better if you could trade them online just to give people who can't afford the cards or don't want to buy the cards a fairer chance at getting those characters, but we'll have to see how that actually works. Either way, like I mentioned earlier, it is currently unknown how you will get their items. Perhaps you'll get them via the promotional tab once you've scanned in these characters. I think that would be a bit weird though, given the fact the promotional tab is going to have all the Mario stuff, it's going to have all the Pocket Camp stuff if you've connected that. So the promotional tab would be literally full of items, way too many. I don't know if they're going to do it like that. Perhaps there'll be another way to get a hold of the items. It's going to be interesting to find out though because they haven't really done it like this where amiibo card characters have exclusive items. Either way, this definitely opens the door for some of the Nintendo characters like Inkwell and Wolf Link and Medley and such to come back to Animal Crossing New Horizons in the future and hopefully we will see that happen. I'd love for you guys to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this Sanrio update and what you're most excited for. Are you looking forward to the furniture items? Are you excited for the villagers? And of course, which of the villagers do you want to have living on your island? Be sure to let me know. And if you made it to the end of this video, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you did. If you want to help support my channel, click the join button down below the video to become a channel member. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks for doing so, like exclusive emoji, a badge by your name, exclusive content and posts, and so much more, so be sure to check that out and consider becoming a channel member to support the content that I make. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing content. You can check out my links and my merch in the description, and you can check out two videos on the right side of the screen. Thank you for watching.